Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to make basically a parts diagram. It's called an exploded view, but it will show how you put your box together. Um, so if this was an instruction manual for somebody who is going to assemble your box, they would be able to see how that works. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and open um, my box assembly, which should be um, finished and ready to go. So when you're looking at this, um, you'll notice that when I click on front, this is not the front of my box. Now, if yours is the front of your box, awesome. But if it isn't, what I want you to do is use your view cube until you are actually looking at the front of your box. Um, now, the front of my box up here says left, and that's a problem. So what I want to do is, with my mouse over the view cube, I'm going to right click. That means click with your middle finger, not your index finger, um, and then I am going to scroll down here or drag down until it says set current view as and I want to set my current view as the front. Um, incidentally, um, if your front looks like this when you click on front, use these little arrows to make sure that it is actually not sideways and that this is front. So make sure that, um, and again, then you can click on uh, set current view as front. You want that when it says front, you are looking at front. The word front is upright and you are looking at your box upright. Then when you're looking at your box this way, click in the corner of the box that'll light up blue. And then what we're going to do is right click over the view cube. And this goes for all of you. Um, right click over the view cube. And now we're going to select set current view as home and then put fit to view. This will mean that when you click on the home button, it'll take that um, view of it and it will move it into place. And so then what you want to do is hit the save up here. So I hit save and then I can go ahead and close my box. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, go up here in my ribbon and select new. And then you're going to scroll down, make sure it says templates, not English metric or mold design. It's up here in templates. I'm going to scroll down until I see where it says presentation standard.ipn. And I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit create. And what this does is the first thing it does is it says, okay, what am I going to make a presentation of? I am going to make a presentation of my box. And there's all kinds of fun ways that you can animate this and turn it into videos, but that's like beyond the scope of this class. So all we really care about is separating all of the parts um, and making it so that everybody can see how they go together. So I'm going to select, um, and it's, here's my activity. The only assembly I have in my activity is my completed box. So I'm going to select box.iam, and I'm going to hit open. And what that'll do is it opens up my box and there's a timeline. I'm just going to drag my timeline kind of about halfway across here. And then what I want to do is something up here called tweak components. And what this will do is it will allow us to, as we click on every part of our box, this little thing, um, it's called a gizmo actually, um, has arrows on it. I'm going to drag my parts and you might have to use your center scroll wheel to um, sort of zoom out. But I want to drag apart every part of my box so that the whole thing looks, um, this is why it's called an exploded view, basically that all of your pieces are moved um, away so that you can see them all. So you can see I'm just literally dragging the things out so that I can see each of the parts. And you might have to... Um, drag them further than you initially think um, because don't forget there are cams on this axle and there are those little shaft collars the donut things at the end and you want to be able to see everything in this view you want to be able to have a clear view of everything so I'm just gonna keep dragging things until I can see them all um, so this might take a minute or two. Use your screen. You've got plenty of space. Um, make sure you move your sides out so that you can see each and every part individually. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. These guys I'm going to drag out this way. 
going to drag this out here. Don't forget that you also have um, these little collars here that fit inside of those holes. So I'm going to go ahead and drag those up here. Um, I am going to drag, um, actually, I'm going to move the square rods up as well. Um, I'm going to make sure that these guys are off of the square rods. So up here, I'm going to move both of these up just like this. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to slide this cam off. So I can see um, every part in my box assembly. They are separated. I can see them clearly. And um, so at this point, I'm going to click the little check mark here. And then what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to click on new snapshot view. And you'll see over here, it makes something called view one. At this point, I need to save this. And I'm going to call this exploded view. And I'm going to hit save. Now that I've done that, I am going to create a drawing from this because I'm basically going to create an assembly drawing. So I am going to create a drawing and then from the templates, I'm going to select the one that says SCHS template, PLTW template. So I'm going to select that and um, it's going to ask me first to type in my name. So I'm going to type in K Matthews. You'll type your name in. The project title, um, we're going to call this Automata, A-U-T-O-M-A-T-A, -A -A, Automata Exploded. Um, and if you want to call it Exploded View, that's dandy. And then you'll hit OK. And what it'll do is it's going to open um, a drawing file. And the only thing that we really want to change here is the scale of this drawing. Um, let's try, uh, let's see if 0.25 fits. Yeah, that'll fit. Um, so we're going to hit OK. And now when I kind of am over the exploded view, you'll see this red dot, you know, these red dots appear. I'm going to use that red dot to drag this um, kind of over here. In fact, right about there. Um, so this is great. It kind of shows how things go together. However, um, I don't know which part is which. So what I need to do up here in annotate, so there's a second tab up there in annotate, I want to create a parts list. And um, make sure if, it, if there's nothing in here, make sure that you click on this browse for file and make sure that you've selected um, your um, your presentation, so your explodedview.ipn, um, but it should be there by default. Usually it'll fill in. Um, and then um, you want to click on enable automatic uh, wrap. This means that if you resize your box, your text will wrap to a new line. Um, and otherwise, that should be okay. And you'll click okay. And then there's going to be this box. Now, right now I'm going to drop it down and it's going to sort of be over my drawing, but that's okay because once I've dropped it, if I hover over it, you'll see I get these little handles. And if I use a corner handle, I can actually drag it and move the whole thing around. And I'm going to make the quantity and the item things smaller. I realize the description column is blank for now. Um, we'll talk another time on how to fix that. Right now, I really just want to make sure that I've labeled each of these parts so that I know which parts are which on here. So to, to do this, the next thing that I want to do is um, I want to basically, so up here, it, yours probably just says balloon. What we want to do is auto balloon. It will then make little balloons that point at each and every one of the parts. Um, so the first thing you, that you want to do is select your view set. Now, if you hover over this and that little red thing, the red line around it appears, you'll have selected your view set. Then when it says add or remove components, take your mouse up in the corner, click, drag over everything, and this will light up blue. Um, unclick ignore multiple instances. We want to know what every part is. And then um, you want to click up here where it says select placement. 
and then you want to change it from horizontal to around. You also want to change this offset spacing to something small, like 0.04. When you do that, in fact, 0.04 is even too big, so 0.02 maybe? Um, and you can see, eh, let's try, oh, let's try 0.01. Yeah, that'll probably work because we can reposition these. Um, so at this point, kind of make it so that your balloons are, you know, the little bubbles there are around the drawing. And don't worry that they're, you know, hanging out over things because we're going to fix that. So then you're going to click OK. So when you've done that, now what you want to do is move the balloons around so that the lines aren't overlapping anything. So I kind of want this balloon, and when, when you highlight over it, you'll see little green dots appear. So inside the number eight, there's a green dot. I am going to start rearranging these guys so that none of the lines overlap, and I can easily see which each part is. So I'm actually going to move my pair cam balloon like over here. Um, so this just takes a little bit of fine tuning so that you can see where everything is. Um, these are both part number nine. You will see duplicate part numbers and that's because you've used some of your parts twice. The, I don't know why this one is, oops, I have to hit that little green dot way the heck over here. Um, this is my cam. This is the shaft collar. This is the side. This is the pair handle. There's the little handle thing. And then I guess if I want to make these a little closer. So now you can see I have arrows pointing at every part. And you can see which item they are, how many of them there are in there, and what they are called. And so at this point, what you want to do before you do anything else is hit save. It's going to ask what you want it to be called. ExplodedView.idw is perfectly fine. And you hit save. And now you have a parts list and an exploded view of your box assembly. So um, that is it for this tutorial. Uh, nice job. And we'll pick it up next time with um, adding some descriptions and, and making this um, printable. Take, have a great day.